Units of Concentration, part two of a series of videos on the different units of concentration. An aqueous solution of C3H8O has a molarity of 0.3 moles per liter. The density of this solution is 0.987 grams per milliliter. Calculate the molality, the mass percentage, and the mole fraction of C3H8O in this solution. Before we start, here is a reminder of the definition of each of the different measures of concentration that you need to know. They will be placed at the bottom, and we will fill in the holes as we solve for the different values. Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solutes divided by the volume of solution in liters. For this kind of question, pick a certain quantity to use as a base for your calculations, and do not change it for the rest of the question. To simplify the calculations, we will assume that we have one liter of solution. We could have assumed that we had 100 liters or any other quantity, and it wouldn't have affected the question. Our final answers would still have the same ratio. However, it makes it much more simple to choose just one liter as our volume. This way, if we have one liter of solution at 0.3 moles per liter, that means we have 0.3 moles of solute. We can insert the number of moles of solute into the molality and mole fraction equations at the bottom. Now that we know the number of moles of C3H8O, we can multiply this value by the compound's molar mass to determine its mass. To calculate the molar mass of C3H8O, we have to add the mass of all the atoms in the molecule. We can put the mass of the solute into the mass percentage equation. By converting our volume from liters to milliliters, we can then multiply it by the density to find the total mass of the solution. We can insert this value into the mass percentage equation. Because the solution contains only C3H8O dissolved in water, we can subtract the mass of the solute from the total mass to solve for the mass of the water. The mass of water needs to be converted into kilograms, then it can be put into the molality equation. To calculate the total number of moles for the mole fraction equation, we need to find out how many moles of water we have by dividing the mass of the water by its molar mass. To finish, we add the moles of solute and water to find the total number of moles in the solution. Then this value can be inserted into the mole fraction. Now all we need to do is calculate the concentrations. For significant digits, we can say that the one liter we assumed had an infinite number of significant digits. The molar masses calculated were precise to four digits. The data given in the question all had three significant digits, so our answer should also have three significant digits. The molality is 0.310 moles per kilogram and we can write this as a small m. The mass percentage is 1.83%, and the mole fraction is 0.00555, and it doesn't have any units because they all get cancelled.